Hey guys, this is Anna D with Canvas, and welcome to a how-to dynamic DIV coding. Um, side note, I am use um, iframes and dynamic DIVs. You draw them just the same with tabs and blah blah blah. Okay. So, grab a bag of popcorn. It's going to be a lengthy tutorial. Might go into two parts. Um, I'm praying it doesn't go into two parts. Um, so, if so, part one. Uh, let's take a look at the code. Go ahead and open up your code from the canvas group. It looks confusing. Bear with me. I'll try to make it as simple as I can. Don't. Alright, this is... Let's just start. Your ids. IDs. Um, that's... It's all part of the mapping. I'm going to try to dumb this down as carefully as I can. Um, it's all about the coding. Like if you scroll down here, you're going to see... Where is it? ID. It's right here. 1B, 2B, 3B, and so on. That's just to help um, the coding know what you're doing. So, don't mess with that. Main box, that's where your text is going to go. Like when we did iframe, that was the main box. Um, you're going to name the main box down here too. Make sure these two match. The main box up here and the main box down there. Um, get element by ID. Your IDs, that's why you need those. Don't mess with this stuff. It's already pre-done in the code. Don't worry about it. Alright. IMG style. Don't worry about any of this. The only thing you need to worry about right now is the image link. Go ahead and get your direct link. Um, I'm doing Pop Rocks. This is a request from my shop. So, if you're wondering, that's where it's from. Alright. Image map. Image map 1. La di da. Alright. So, in this one, you can close your GIMP because we're going to be using paint. If you don't have paint, you'll probably need to use GIMP. <laughs> um, but it's not a big deal. Um, if you watched my product page junk, um, when I said advanced coding or advanced uh, users can use um, paint, this is what I meant right here. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. You'll use this for dynamic DMEs. Pop rock. Isn't it pretty? Alright. So, let's look at the code again. We're going to start off with these. Here's chords. Coordinates. Alright. So, look at your tabs. Okay? I have, we're not worrying about these ones on the side, the add me message chat block. We're worrying about the ones up top. Home, about, gallery, friends, support, and random. We have six, so we need six Bs. Take off this last one. Six of these, right? Now you're going to name them according to what they're called. So I got home, about, gallery, friends, support, and random. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the coordinates. Coordinates. Okay, keep your notepad open, have paint in the background. Now put, take your mouse, place it over the edge of the capital H. If you can see on your screen, um, I have words behind, like the little Texas home. I have a bigger one that says home behind it that's lower opacity. Put your cursor at the top of that. Now look at the bottom left. Don't move your mouse. Look at the bottom left of your screen. There'll be um, a four arrow icon. It'll say, like mine says, 373, 59px. Those numbers are your first two chords. So, 373, 59. 373, 59. Okay? Your next two chords are going to come from over here. Which is 411.85. I just went to the opposite side. The um, cat corner, if you will. Um, you start at the top left, you end at the bottom right. So, 411 by 85. Um, for the length of this video, I'm not going to code all the way through the chords. However, I'm going to skip through. Alright. 
So, here we are with your main box. Okay? This is the part you'll need GIMP for, which I did tell you to close it, and I'm now reopening it myself. Um, you're going to... Well, let's start this up here. Dang, that started fast. <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to copy it from this. I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, you're going to measure your main box. Where your main text is going. If I start humming, please don't kill me. Or mute the video. <laughs> I have music going in my ear. I'm going to make sure it's just full screen here. Two sixty four three hundred. Um, while I'm here, um, notice in the code, um, that the left and the top are backwards. Um, I'm sure they can be rearranged, but that'll come for a later date. If you feel awkward putting it in backwards, you can always recode it. Um, if you need help with that, just let me know. Alright, then you're gonna go left and top. Like normal. 342 left. Overflow auto, yes. Border, if you want to border, you can. I don't recommend it. Um, background transparent, yes. Color, this will be your font color. Don't worry about this part because down here overrides it. So I have a black background, so I put white and blah. Okay? Well, let me pause you here. This DIV, oops, titled main box, needs to be the same as your home tab. So that when people click your home tab, it'll say the same thing as when they first saw it. It's kind of like iframes, if you guys can recall. So, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put um, main at the end, so I know that it's there. Okay? Now, this is DIV ID. Excuse me. Um, you're going to rename them in the order that you put up the top. So we got home about this will become gallery. Um where I'm editing the text like right now where it says love, um that can be changed. That's where your main text will go. Um you can see all about that in the um installation video. And I can delete this last one down here. Um, the code is set up for seven different tabs. You may not need all seven, so if not, just delete one of the DIVs. There you go. Okay. On this one, I have a video box, an avi box, and I will need a product box. So, I'm going to go ahead and make that now. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my product box. I'm not going to fill it in all too much, but I'm just going to get the basics done. Okay, so now that you have all that finished, you are ready to install your code. Um, go ahead and go to the installation video right now. Um, and it will show you what to edit to edit your own text in. As always, test it before you sell it. If you're selling layouts, if it's for yourself, make sure you test it and test it. And if there's something wrong, do not hesitate to contact one of the moderators of Canvas. We're up to about six staff members. We're going for ten. Um, and don't be shy. We answer any questions. If we don't know, you find someone who does.
Thanks for watching. I hope the dynamic DIV didn't trip you up too bad. It takes practice. And thank you for watching.